Welcome to Beyond the Paradigm, I'm your host Paul. Today I just wanted to do a quick video to discuss the Israel-Gaza conflict, obviously between the IDF and Hamas. And I think it's important to ask this question when we're watching the news, we should be asking the question, what is really going on? So the mainstream narrative is quite simple. It's that Hamas attacked Israel and Mossad had no idea that the attack was going to happen. Hamas breached a heavily defended border between Gaza and Israel. That's simply what they're telling us now in the mainstream media. That's what they would have you believe. Now, in order to believe what the mainstream is saying, to accept this mainstream narrative, we must accept certain things that we need to take into account. OK, so we've got to accept that the most sophisticated intelligence service in the world, they had no idea that an attack would happen. This is what Mossad have said. They didn't have a clue that this was going to take place. Secondly, that the IDF were not alerted to any breach at all in the heavily monitored border at 17 different locations. Bearing in mind, when I say this is heavily monitored, this border is monitored ev at every point for 24 hours a day and has been for approximately the last 30 years. Thirdly, the Iron Dome stopped working. The most advanced defensive system, it shoots missiles down, anything entering into the airspace, this Iron Dome shoots them down but that'll start working fourthly that it was a coincidence that when hamas undertook this attack into israel they didn't meet any idf soldiers whilst breaching the border just think about that and lastly that a bunch of goat herders could easily attack by surprise, one of the most powerful nations on earth. Now, what we need to consider is that Hamas had American weapons. Once over, you would have seen them running around with AK-47 and other alternative Russian-made weapons. However, as you've noticed from the footage, they were carrying American weapons. Now, there has been speculation that these American weapons they got through Ukraine. That's how Hamas came to procure these weapons. The attacks happened 50 years exactly after the Yom Kippur War, which was also a surprise attack. Insiders have spoken out and said this was a false flag operation. There's people who've worked in the intelligence services at Mossad, who are now no longer in that service, or they was in the intelligence services in the Israeli Defense Forces, and they've said there's no way on earth that Mossad didn't know about it. They're the most sophisticated intelligence service on earth. And the Israelis have the most advanced and invasive surveillance system in the world. There's, there's sensors literally everywhere and there's even deep in the ground so the Palestinians can't build tunnels and, and tunnel under and into Israel. And the Times of Israel and the Associated Press and Al Jazeera are reporting that Egypt warned Israel of a major attack coming from Gaza 10 days before the events on the weekend. But the Israeli officials chose to ignore it. There are five signs to look out for which indicate that a false flag operation is in place or it's a false flag terror attack. And the, when you're watching the news, these are the things to take into consideration. One, that horrific images are overused by the media to shock the public. Have we not been seeing shocking images repeatedly? The initial footage of these Hamas fighters running around these villages and shooting people and flying in basically 
on these paragliders, pretty much lawnmowers with parachutes on. So they used emotive images to shock the public. Secondly, drills of a similar attack occur the same day in the same area. That happened at 7-7 London bombings. There was drills on that day. Thirdly, eyewitness accounts do not match the official story. So these are people on the ground who have witnessed actually what's going on. And it happened on 9-11. Early on, there were people interviewed. And now these interviewed have been polled. They don't match the official story that's being pushed by the mainstream narrative. And conflicting evidence is not repeated by the media. So there'll just be one story and that's pushed by all the media. Have a think about that as to why. I'm not here to tell you anything. I'm asking you to think about these things. And the last point is that the this attack, it's then used as an excuse to curtail rights or start a war. Well, after 9-11, there was a war started, wasn't there, in Afghanistan and the Iraq. And I think in the United States, they brought in what's called the Patriot Act. And there was all kinds of rights curtailed after 9-11. Conclusion is simply this. Don't just look at the mainstream. Believe the story without question. And I say this all the time on my podcast, Beyond the Paradigm, which you can get on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, anywhere where there's a major po podcasting platform. You can listen on there to longer episodes. But I tell people, do your own research. That is extremely important. Don't take what I'm saying do your own research and very, very importantly, question everything.